Hey tubers and pickers, it's Drew the California Picker. Welcome back to my channel, California Pickin'. And I really think I hit a home run here today, guys. So please keep watching this video. These are vintage hand-carved wooden duck decoys of different ages. Plus one in the back here that's solid brass. It's a solid brass duck doorstop. And uh, so I really think I did very well today on these guys. So let's get into it. If you guys don't know about duck decoys, stay tuned for this video. I'll try to catch you up as much as I can. I can't give you all the info in one short video, but um, this is right up my alley. Primitives and folk art collectibles. And anything carved out of wood that's very old will fit into that category. Um, and it's a very hot category if you did not know. So let's go through these guys one at a time, tell you what I think of them. I have also some reference material here to show you duck decoys and some of my um, vintage, um, you know, antique books that it's in my library. I've always told you guys have a library of some sort, not only the internet, but have a physical library. These books are older. Uh, these first two are catalogs. Uh, with prices. This one is just basically reference material, but excellent, excellent reference material on all three of these. I do have more, I just didn't have time to dig them all out, and I think this will will definitely suffice. The first one is is rather, probably a newer one. It's got this gloss finish on it. It's not ever been used in the water. So this is basically been made for decoration and it's a very nice job glass eyes now what I plan to do with this one is I plan on to rough the uh, rough all that shiny stuff off with sandpaper and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a great paint job so that's gonna look really old when I get done with it and that will be very cool this next one I told you is uh, unlike the others this is a solid piece a thick solid heavy um, doorstop in the shape of a a duck mallard and there's different terminology drake mallards mallards uh, hens uh, golden eyes there's all kinds of little words that you use in uh, in describing these kind of duck decoys I don't think any other picker has really done a video about these vintage wooden carved ones I know will has done has included some duck de decoys on one of his, one or two of his videos. I'm not sure if these if his were made out of wood or very old and primitive like these. But um, Will, you know, he knows his stuff. Uh, that's for sure. And uh, so, what do you think of these, Will? Thought you liked these. Um, next, we have this incredible, which is not a duck. It's a swan, I believe. It's a swan with a long neck. This is very unique, guys. I saw this. I turned it over. And um, on the bottom here, hold on a second. Let me take off some price, price tags. That's not too cool to have on there. Anyway, I'll tell you what I paid for these at the end, I guess. But this is marked Hardy. And Hardy is a known maker of these wooden decoys. And uh, see how it's stamped individually with different letters? It's not one stamp because it's all up and down, up and down. This is older, definitely. It was never meant to be a working decoy. There's, I guess, two different categories also, guys. There's working decoys, and then there's sculptural carvings of birds. Um, this would fall into that second category, sculptural carvings of birds. And very hot category, guys. I'll get to the prices in a, in a, in a second. But very, very cool to find a signed, hardy, solid wood swan figure. Then we get into these, and I think this is where... I mean, I'm not sure about the hardy. We're going to have to do some more research on that, but... Um, these are really, I think, where some of the bigger money is, that's for sure. This is, uh, this is all hand-combed, 
it's got this combing with um, some type of little scribbling device to give it some texture. Um, you guys might remember from your classes in school that the female variety of most birds are, you know, muted gray, black, brown, one color, very just un nondescript. And that's so it doesn't attract attention towards predators when the, uh, the female is giving, is laying eggs, etc. The male of the species, however, is very, you know, heavily colored. His plumage is um, varied, multicolored, beautiful. In fact, peacocks, the, the male is the one that's got the colorful uh, feathers. The female looks very plain Jane, very drab, nothing like the male. So I think also the plumage and colors attract the female to the male. So the better looking the male is, um, the females will pick that mate. So uh, these are three amazing examples of hand-carved wooden decoys. So let's go to the book and see what we got here. These are old books, so it's not going to be um, current prices at all. But <clears throat> you can see how large the category is here. This is um, this is uh, Sotheby's. So Sotheby's only sells the best of the best. These are mounted. These were already always made to be de uh, sculptural decoys and not useful in the field. Um, there's a whole bunch of collectors that collect just that. Here's more of them. The, all the descriptions are over here. And more. And more. So you can see how popular these hand-carved duck decoys are. Now when I go to the... Um, that's it for that. When I go to the prices at the back, it's pretty significant, guys, because they range anywhere from... Uh, well, let's pick one. Um, 878 through 888. That's just random, of course. 878 Okay, 878, 150 to 200 dollars. There's other ones that are earlier that are three to 500. This is back in 1980, guys. So, 33 years ago, prices have gone up since then. But you can be guaranteed that these things are valuable. Here's another Sotheby's, 1980. Also, here's a couple examples of duck decoys, a couple more. Those are in the two to four hundred dollar range back then. And then we get to this great book with some more decoys in them. A whole a whole category, a whole chapter on duck decoys. Now these are these other kinds of decoys, these as I said, these sculpture ones. They're like, um, you know, kind of beach birds and all kinds of things and very valuable. So if you run into this sort of thing and it looks old, just buy it if, it, if it's at a good price. Here's some more duck decoys of all different varieties. And I think mine are just as good as any of these. So somebody had a nice collection and uh, offloaded it somehow. Um, there's a swanish kind of uh, a goose. Actually, it's a goose, not a swan. Maybe mine's a goose with a long neck. They are particularly collectible. Here's some. Uh, well, this one has some price ranges. 350 to 425 on that one. Um, most of these other ones are a couple hundred, hundred to 200. So those are really very collectible. So let's go and talk about, I went online and looked up some other uh, duck decoys and some of them can soar up into the thousands guys. Uh, I saw one for 3500, 4000, 2000 and regularly all day long for 1800, 700 dollars a piece.
So let me tell you what kind of deal I got, all right? So for this whole grouping, that's six figures, um, five hand-carved wooden ones, and one brass, I got this whole lot for $175. So I think let's go through them one at a time. When I paint this up, this is going to be a maybe, let's call that $75. Um, this one back here, well, let's, let's just do this. Let's say that this is 50, this is 50. I got each one of these for $12.50. Then, um, these other ones I'm not sure, but um, this hardy one could be the big sleeper. This could be a two to three hundred dollar duck uh, or goose carving. I just don't know. Signed, you know, two to three hundred dollars. And then this one, I'm saying these guys are anywhere in the two to three hundred dollar range a piece and could be more. And then this one is the prize, I believe, guys because it's just got an amazing paint job. So let's go check this out. It's got, they all have glass eyes. This one's got a lot of age to it. And see how it's not shiny. It's matte finish. It's really nice. And it at one time had a weight under there attached to the bottom. Um, and uh, that one is really good. I think this one could, I don't know, be three to five hundred dollars and could be more than that. I'm just being conservative. So, um, let's even take the low end on that. Let's just say three hundred for this. Could be more. This is, I was saying, uh, what was I saying? Two hundred on this. So that's five hundred, seven hundred, this one could be two to four hundred. Let's use the low. That's nine hundred, and these to one hundred and fifty. So, you know, we're looking at a thousand dollars plus of duck decoys here. If it goes all well, let's say it is even half of that. So, from a hundred and seventy-five dollar investment, I get back five hundred, six hundred dollars. That is a killer, killer day for me so and it could even go much more than that I might have 10 I might have um, you know times my money by 10 so that might be the profit margin on these 10 times profit that's how I do it the California picker so anyway sorry about the long video but uh, a lot of info here hope you enjoyed it please come back please share on Google Plus and Facebook and remember keep on picking Hit some likes. Cheers, people.